Hey everybody, thanks for coming back again. It's Audrey and I am sharing a page today for um, the Paige Evans, uh, Paige Taylor Evans design team for the Silhouette store. So Paige makes cut files and there are new cut files every week. I think 10 new ones every week. And the one I'm working with this week, uh, I specifically requested from Paige because I had this photo and I really wanted some cute rain boots or galoshes. So this file is titled Galoshes. And I have opened it up into in um, Silhouette Design Studio. And I, when you open up the file, they are both um, facing the same direction. And I wanted the, bo the boots to be opposite directions. And I wanted to have a pair of boots. So I um, flipped one of the files over and then I just duplicated each set of boots. And I kind of sized them up because um, I knew I was going to have these smaller pictures here. So I kind of um, gauge the size that I want to cut them and I'm going to cut them out of some pretty colored paper so you can see my mat um, working up there in the top right corner and it has my little boots on it so I decided to because this um, is a page of my photo uh, or you know photos of the kids jumping in rain puddles I thought that this blue background would be perfect and I just love the ombre look so I covered it with some gesso and I'm just using a little spatula to spread it and I like the way that the spatula spreads um, the gesso like this and I in addition to providing a background for my mixed media I was also going for a specific look with this gesso so um, I liked the you know the little darker area or not darker areas but um, areas that were more covered with white gesso and kind of just scattered around so to go along with the theme of rain, I found this stencil. It's just little round like circle dots, but I thought it kind of looked like raindrops. So I went with some Distress Oxide inks and just went through a couple areas of the stencil to add a little bit of rain looking dots in the background. And then I'm taking some gray, this is an old, super old um, ink mist. I think it's from October afternoon. Um, and it's more like a chalky finish um, mist. And I just put a little bit of that there to kind of look like the puddles because the puddles in my photo are very um, brown and gray. And then I did a few splatters of white um, Dilutions ink, which is the best white I have found, best white, best white ink for splattering, and um, some gold as well. So you can see um, my cut piles here that I'm pulling off. I did one pair of the boots in kind of this yellowish green paper, maybe more like a chartreuse color and then the other pair of boots in a striped pattern. And I also cut, oh, I forgot to mention this because I didn't show it in my cut file video. I decided that I was gonna add some clouds at the top. So Paige has another background file called uh, Clouds Background, and I just cut that out of it. It's a very light, light peach um, paper. And all of these papers, by the way, are from her Pick Me Up collection, which is her most recent collection. So to back the boots, I am using something called Sticky Dots paper from ThermoWeb. It's a sheet of dotted adhesive. So much like um, when you buy tape runners that have little you know, dots of adhesive on it, it's an entire sheet of that adhesive. And it is awesome for backing um, delicate cut files, cut files that have very thin lines. So you literally just put it on the sticky adhesive and then fold the cover sheet back over and then I, I kind of press it down a little bit and then you peel it off and the, the back of the... Um, boots, the back of the cut file rather, is covered with adhesive and then I just stuck it on the heart paper. So I love using the sticky dot paper for very intricate and delicate designs like this. So I'm going to do the same thing here with these boots. So you just put it on, close the cover, and rub it back and it's then completely covered with adhesive. So it is pretty permanent. However, um, I just started cutting out this boot from this yellow and I decided I did not like the yellow background on this boot it clashed too much or maybe it was even too close to the yellow um, in my photos because my son's coat is his raincoat is yellow and the grass is kind of yellowish gross in, <laughs> in this picture because it's spring and it hasn't seen sunshine all winter um so i uh, i didn't really care for the yellow so i carefully ripped it off and i finally decided that since there was some white um in the boots that i backed with the heart paper that I wanted to find a piece of pattern paper that had a little bit of white on it. So I went with this geometric paper that has um, like geometric lines and some white background. So I like that much better. So I have gone through the embellishment, the ephemera pack for this um, collection and pulled out a few things I thought I'd use. I wasn't anticipating using those flowers at first, but I kind of loved, kind of loved the colors against the blue background. So I think I'm gonna try to fit them in somewhere. 
um, and I'm taking one of the six by six papers with the flower patterns on it, and I'm going to fussy cut a couple of those just to have a few um, smaller flowers. Plus, I like to have things, like there was only two die cuts in the pack um, that had these flowers, and I like to have things in odd numbers, like threes or fives, so I think I cut out five little bits. And I, that's just a design thing for me. It's not something, you know, because, like, you know, I like the number five or whatever. It's that I, I think that odd numbers of things, like, scattered on the page are more visually appear appealing. I don't like things that are completely symmetrical, so, um, again, that's just a, a choice thing, but a preference. Okay, so I am layering a couple of the flowers above and below the the photos, and um, a little small one on one of the boots there. The umbrella buttons from the haberdashery little kit that comes with this collection, which is super cute too, those are perfect, and I stacked them on top of each other, and I noticed in my final photos I had meant to go back and add some thread or twine to those umbrellas, and I never did it because they're they like a little button. Um, they do come with adhesive on the back, but I should have added some twine. I thought that, would, that may have been cute, but it's done, and I probably honestly won't go back and do it because it's in my pile to be put away, and I have other layouts to do, so <laughs> this is how it's going to be. I pulled out a couple other um, stickers The the one that says Soaking Up Life, that's the one I'm going to kind of use as my title, even though it's kind of small up there right above the uh, right corner, top right corner of my photos. It was so cute with a little umbrella and kind of a cute phrase for this picture. I'm just going through finding a couple other phrases and little bits that I could add on. What I love about this set of chipboards, see, this is, these are the chipboard stickers, is that m most of the stickers are relatively small. Like some of these sticker, these chipboard sticker sheets you get, the the shapes are so big, and I don't, I I don't like that. I like to have small little bits that I could stick here and there, and um, you know, like on top of a cut file, or maybe just a little bit in the corner of a photo. I don't like those gigantic ones that you know take over your page. So these are a really, really great size um, set of chipboards. So I love those so much. Um, so I decided to add a little piece of washi to the top of that photo. Just because I the, the flower cluster in the bottom middle between the photos had that big reddish flower, and I thought I just wanted to pull up a little bit more red up in that area of the page, so just to draw your eye up in that direction a little bit. So there's a lot of color down like in the middle and a little bit towards the bottom, and I thought I wanted to bring a little bit more color to the top. So I am taking some scraps of this heart um, pattern paper, which was from the 6x6 pad, and I'm kind of using the heart shape to help guide me in cutting out raindrop shapes. So, you know, if you take each lobe of the heart upside down, you kind of get a raindrop shape. So I'm doing this all by hand. I'm just using, I, I know I'm out of out of the camera frame a little bit here. Um, but I have, I have it close to my face while I'm cutting because uh, I, need, I need to be able to see it close up. So that's why it's out of the frame of the camera. Um, anyway, I'm cutting just these teardrop or raindrop shapes from the colored hearts. And I'm just kind of picking different different colors and kind of scattering them around again just to bring in some more color to the top and I really I'm re I almost went with all blue hearts but I'm really glad I didn't because I love the color that these heart these um, little teardrops and raindrops bring to the top of the page um, I just add a couple more small things I don't want to overdo it here I already got have a lot going on I feel I mean I know it's not completely loaded with um, you know, die cuts and sayings and stuff. I don't want to overdo it. So, because, you know, those those boots are a really cute element and they're really one of the main parts of the page. So I, I still want those to kind of be a focus. Um, so now I'm going to start gluing some things down and I decided to glue these raindrops completely down to the background because I am going to, I'm planning on stitching over them with some lines to kind of give them some movement as if they were falling down. And then I'm going to go back and pop the clouds off the background with some foam dots. So I'll glue everything down. And you notice when I design, um, and this is this is pretty much for all of my pages, I lay everything out first and I hardly ever glue anything until I am certain I have everything where I want it. And um, sometimes it can be frustrating because as I'm trying to move things around, you know, like other little bits will move and get out of place and that drives me crazy. But what else drives me crazy is if I glue something down and then later decide I want to change it. And so I hate doing that too. So I just make sure everything's how I want it and then I go back and glue down. 
So I am gluing, and, and things that I know, like, like I glued the boots together because I liked how they were arranged. So I will glue pieces to each other. Um, so you can see that I just added the stitching in there to over those raindrops. And now I'm going to go back and pop off these clouds with some um, foam squares. And I, I'm, I'm really glad I decided to use the clouds. They were kind of an afterthought because um, I just saw that cut file um, as I was, you know, browsing her page's store again. I thought, oh, maybe I should put those in. So I'm really glad I did those. And what is this? Okay, the little phrase. I'm going to pop that off too. Yeah, so I think the rest here is really just me gluing stuff down. I decided also to pop up the photos a little bit. This is just some adhesive craft foam. So I usually cut a square that's, you know, a little bit smaller than the back of my photo. And it's not, it's not perfect. It's just enough to lift it off and then um, adhere it to the back of my photo. And then I'll glue it down on the background paper with some liquid glue. And like I said, these boots I had glued together already. So they're kind of at the angle that I like. So my kiddos, really quick about this photo, we had a really rainy day. I can't remember, I think this was like the April 1st or it was either late March or early April and it was pouring and we always get this huge puddle at the bottom of this little hill in our driveway. And um, they came running off the bus and it was pouring rain and they came inside and they asked to go out to play. And I'm thinking, my kids want to go outside on a rainy day to play, I'm not gonna stop them. So they got their um, raincoats on and their um, their boots and they went out and they got soaked and they got dirty and they had a great time and I just I love letting them play like that and I that kind of stuff doesn't bother me at all I'd rather see them do that than to come in and be parked in front of the TV which don't get me wrong we have days like that too but <laughs> but for this particular day I was so happy to see them doing that I think I think we get cooped up after such a long winter that everybody just wants to go outside and play Okay, so these puffy, puffy stickers, there were some really, really cute tiny buttons, um, and they were puffy stickers, and they fit right in the boots, like on the little boot buckles, so those were cute. I wish I had two more of them because I would have put a button on each boot, but I only had um, two. And I think that's it. Yeah, so there it is. I added some journaling at the bottom with a white pen, and I just love, love, love these colors, and I think these colors match my photo so well, too. So it was a great pair, and how cute are those boots? There's the stitching you can see and lots of fun layers and texture there on this page. So uh, I really, really love this page. One of my favorites in a while. So thank you so much for stopping by. Stay scrappy, my friends, and I will see you very soon with another video. Have a great day.